script you wrote for the lightning production team and uh, how much did that do you think that helped your, your game? Um, I mean it was a great experience you know going back home um, getting to represent my country for the first time uh, it was an honor you know just to represent my country um, learning from that you know playing with pros uh, that have been doing this for a, for a long 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 time. Um, you know, just learn, learning the ins and outs from them and, you know, taking that back to college. Uh, and then also competing against pros, uh, learning from that. Uh, I think it prepared me for this season, uh, coming back to college in a great way. Coach Tang mentioned that he, you came back, you seem to be carrying yourself differently, maybe with more confidence. Is that, is that something you, you gain to, do you think? Um, yes, I would say so. I mean, I feel like it's also, you know, coming back from my second year, just being more comfortable, uh, knowing what's expected of me. But, uh, yeah, I definitely feel like it did give me a confidence boost. What's <clears throat> the biggest thing that, that you've improved on since last year? Uh, definitely my shooting ability, uh, the consistency of my shot, and it's going in a lot now. So. Arthur, what's the first thing you noticed when you got to Manhattan, Kansas? Uh, Man, it was hot, honestly. Man, I got here in the summer, it was super hot. <laughs> it was. When you got in the building, you kind of got to know the teammates and the coaches. What, what did you learn about kind of what Kansas State basketball is? We got an amazing culture. Uh, it's not just about building better basketball players, it's about building better people and better men. And I'm glad to be a part of it. Arthur, what, uh, when you went kind of through the NBA process, what was, uh, was there something that maybe someone said, or what was kind of the feedback that you were getting? Yeah, no, nah, uh, I just had to be more consistent in my games, you know, just over the spread of the course of the season, you know, have more consistency, not only in just, you know, like shooting, just like the whole game in itself. How was experience? Oh, it was an amazing experience, an amazing experience. After you do that, you don't ever want to come back to college, but it wasn't my, uh, <laughs> it wasn't in my cards, maybe next year. Uh, national champs. That's the goal. That's the plan. Right. Um. I mean, obviously, being on a team, you learn from it, uh, taking it, going into next year. But at the same time, uh, last year was last year, and we got to come back and do it again. Um, our goal is to go to Phoenix and win it all. Um, that's what we're trying to build right now. But also just bringing that culture from last year uh, and, you know, teaching that to the young guys, the freshmen and transfers coming in of what that means and, you know, how we do things. Um, I think that will be helpful going forward. Coach mentioned that he, you guys changed up the offense a little bit. Uh, how, does, how does that affect you and your role? Um, I like it. I feel like I'll be more involved making plays uh, for my teammates and myself. Um, I feel like it's going really well so far. Um, everybody getting used to it. Uh, but I think it's going to help. So do you play a different spot on the floor? Or how does... um, I mean, I still play the four or five, similar to last year. But um, last year it was more uh, four I went in. I come up and play pick and roll with Marquise most of the time, and I just roll to the basket, and he'll find me <laughs> for easy looks. To where right now, uh, we're basically playing with five people that can all dribble, shoot, and you know make passes or make plays for each other. So it's kind of just a five-out flow where everybody can do everything really. Coach mentioned your potential around, uh, beyond the arc. Is that something you want to? Improve on this year or shoot more? Um, yes, most definitely. I feel like that's an, another thing with the five out, uh, being a more consistent shooter. I mean, I shot 50% last year, but I didn't have a whole lot of attempts. Um, I feel like, you know, moving out behind the arc and stretching the floor so uh, Art, for example, can drive without uh, my man sitting in the paint and helping out uh, will help us a lot. Arthur, have you, how have you adjusted to the new system, especially getting here? Getting, getting to know a whole new team and then having to learn an entire new system? Uh, I feel like I've adjusted pretty well. I mean, obviously, you know, there's going to be a little aches and pains, you know, when you come into a new program and, you know, everything's already been established.
but uh, I feel like the system that we have set up is going to allow everybody on our team to be themselves and like operate in a space where they could be successful. David, Coach said that Marquise was getting on you guys. He called in and was on you guys about something for Shark Week or something like that. Can you tell us about that? This year or last you know, he year? He said that he called in because you guys didn't hit a certain time. Oh, I must have missed it, but I'm sure, I'm sure Keith did something like that. Do you keep in touch with any of those guys from last year? Sorry? Do you keep in touch with any of those guys from last year? Um, yes, we do. You know, we got a group chat where we, uh, you know, talk every now and then, and then you know, just seeing those games, you know, you get goosebumps looking back at it. David, your thoughts on Big Twelve getting bigger, adding more teams this year? Um, I mean, it's exciting. Uh, yeah, it's exciting. You know. I'm, Excited to see what they bring and how that's going to uh, change out the Big 12. I still feel like it's the best league, so I'll see how that goes. And why shouldn't uh, why shouldn't anyone have been surprised that you guys were able to accomplish last year? Why shouldn't they be surprised this year? Um, because of our culture, uh, because of our leaders, uh, Coach Tang and his coaching staff uh, do a great job of uh, you know showing us what to do, and then you know the guys being bought in, uh, all in. To do the right thing. You mentioned the goal of the national title. How do you accomplish that goal uh, day by day? Sorry, guys. Um, just winning every single day. Um, coach mentions it all the time. Win the day. Uh, winning whatever it is you're doing, whether it's in school, in practice, uh, nutrition, sleep. Uh, just going day by day, uh, doing the best thing you can do, get better, and then you know win as many games you can. Tyler, you started your college basketball career in the state of Kansas. Now you're back. Is it kind of a, a fun, kind of full circle? Yeah, it's definitely surreal uh, being back in Kansas. Um, you know, I had tweeted out I never thought I'd be coming back, but, you know, it's kind of a, another home for me, um, being three hours down the road uh, at Coffeeville. So, you know, I'm just blessed to be back in this position. Um, you know, I used to pray about things like this when I was in those dorms in Coffeeville, so I'm excited to be here. And then we already asked these two guys about how the new offensive system affects them. Obviously, your guard. What? How? How have a few things changed for you? Um, it, it's it's made my job easier. Um, when you got so many guys that can handle the ball, and you know, um, we got wings that can you know run like guards and jump like forwards. You know, it makes the the game a whole lot easier for me. And uh, the biggest thing is just about giving those guys space. And um, you know, when you got to worry about these two and Naquan Tomlin. Uh, you can't help off of me and Cam Carter. Uh, it's, it's definitely going to be tough to guard. Tyler, the cohesion between you guys, especially you, just getting yourself incorporated with these new guys, how's that been so far? And how much did a trip like the one to the East help you guys get more connected? It's been easy. Uh, we got a group of guys who genuinely like each other, genuinely like hanging out and being around each other. And uh, that makes the basketball part easy. Um, <clears throat> the trip was easy, to Israel was amazing. Um, the biggest thing was the off the court things that we were doing. Uh, I know a lot of people seen, you know, us on the floor and want to see how we would play together. But you know, the, we were trying to figure out who we were as people over there, and so uh, I think that you know that brought us so much closer, and uh, it's gonna make this season a whole lot better. You scored a lot in North Texas. You know, how do you feel your role is gonna be with these guys? Where it might be you know, one guy does 21 nights, the next guy does 21 nights. Uh, I think that makes the you know makes it harder for us to guard and to scout. Uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, at North Texas could scout against me and, uh, you know, have schemes, you know, to beat us. Not that I didn't have guys around me, but uh, just being in a Big 12, I think it's, it's much, much harder with you got NBA talent next to you. And um, like I said, it's going to make the game so much easier for me and open up for me. And uh, I wouldn't mind standing there and shooting for 40 minutes. And this question for you and Mark, what, what gave you the confidence in Jerome Tain to go to K-State? Just, just the culture. Uh, I had other visits lined up, but when I went on my visit and I brought my family down here, we just knew it was a place to be, just like how Coach interacted with his staff, interacted with his players, and what he was preaching. Uh, this is a great place to be, great place to be an athlete. Yeah, for me, the same type of thing. I took a couple of visits, but as soon as I landed in Manhattan, uh, they were out doing a clap in front of the airport. So. Yeah, so I, I instantly knew, like, this is a place where I needed to be, and I felt it as soon as I stepped foot out here. And, um, you know, Tang is a testament to, you know, what this program is about, and not just him, but his whole staff. And so and it, they, they bring that every day, and uh, I feel like we have the best coaching staff in the world, and I'm, I'm with them, you know, 1,000%. You're going to be facing your former coach, 
this year? Is that going to be kind of weird? And what what do you remember about Coach McCann? Uh It'll be fun. Yeah, he's here somewhere, so uh, it'll be it'll definitely be exciting. Um, we know each other very well, of course, and um, you know it'll be a bit of, be a bittersweet sweet moment because he's not the only you know coach that went with him from North Texas. Uh, the guy who recruited me, Matthew Brar, is also on his staff at Tech. Uh, at Tech, so it'll definitely be fun, and I'm excited for that matchup. Tyler, do you feel like you've been given kind of the keys to the offense? Coach Tank typically lets his guards put a lot of freedom. Uh, and our new offense, I feel like he gave the keys to everybody, but <laughs> but no, nah, um, yeah, definitely for sure. He he lets everybody play with a lot of freedom, not just me. Um, he definitely tell you about it if he don't like a shot. So, but. Uh, it's fun, you know, playing an offense that he brings, and I'm, I'm definitely enjoying it, and uh, I can't wait to see where it goes. Do you have any conversations with Marquis Noel about yeah. his, how he learned to play for Coach Tang? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, he left a note in my locker before he left. Um, I can't tell you exactly what it said, but it was around, it was around the words of um, tap into what's next. And so, uh, you know, Marquise is a guru, and what he did uh, this past year, you know, probably never be done again and um you know the, the next step now is you, you know just getting over that elite eight hump and um you know he 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 handed the keys down and i'm excited for it david how how do you see um this consistency with shot um i mean he was always really athletic and fast uh downhill but the way he's now also knock, knocking down shots, uh, both off the dribble and off the catch, uh, is really impressive. And I think it's going to make him that much more harder to guard. David, you battled injuries last year. How excited are you to be healthy this year? I'm super excited. You know, uh, injuries are pretty depressing for any athlete. So anytime you go through that, it's not a lot of fun. Uh, that's my first time actually missing a game in college. So, you know, that stretch was, you know, really hard for me, but um, I'm excited for a new season, new goals, and uh, to be healthy. Do you feel like the injury kind of set you back at all last year? And it all like uh, not in my development as much, but just kind of the flow. Uh, we was just about to start Big 12 play, and I was in a great flow. I remember uh, having a great pra practice before we played West Virginia, and then I got hurt, and then, you know, I uh, had to come back and practice, but that game rhythm is always uh, kind of different than, you know, the practice conditioning. So just, you know, having to find that flow back was definitely a setback. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited for this year. All healthy. Um, I, I would say just being in this position now, because, like I said, a couple years ago, like, I used to pray pray to be here. I used to, you know, dream of, you know, one day being sitting in this chair right now and um, wishing I could be in front of these bright lights. And so, you know, life has come full circle. I've been so blessed. And so uh, it's hard for me to wake up and not, you know, be happy or be excited to get to do what I love at the end of the day because, you know, like I said, I wasn't here a couple years ago. I was fighting to get to this spot. And so, like, I don't take it for granted. Yeah, for sure, absolutely. As much as I care. <laughs> um, McCaleb can jump over an 18 wheeler, so like I'm not playing. Like when y'all see that kid jump, it's gonna be crazy. RJ hasn't missed a shot in like three weeks, and like and I'm not like I'm not joking about none. I'm saying, and then Day Day is like, um, he's so talented in so many different ways. And uh, as he just continues to understand the game and learn the game so much more, uh, he has so much untapped potential. And I'm so excited for his growth. And uh, look out, Big 12, for what's coming for him the next couple years. What's something that this is for RJ? What have you guys been doing off the court to help develop this team? We have team dinners at least once every single week. You know, we. Uh, we always come together. I know the coach and staff is very big on, you know, having sitting down and having a meal. They bring their families, you know. We just get closer as a team that way. Go to the movies a lot. Uh, any activity we can find out, we do. You know, we come together as a team. Um, and just sitting in the locker room sometimes, just talking. Like, nobody just gets to the locker room, just gets up and leaves. Like, we just, you know, I feel like we, we're really a big family. Big fan of TK. 
Yes, sir. Yeah. Who's the best between you? I am. Me. What? <laughs> me. You even play me. me. I don't play 2K. I'm a go-to team. LeBron he gets James, beat. He get Lakers. beat. In, he get beat in UFC every day. What? He the worst 2K player on the team. I don't play and, 2K. I mean, and I'm no. like top yeah. three. It's me, Day Day. No, I beat Day Day too. Whatever. He didn't ask you the question first of all. <laughs> but um, I mean, like, I feel like we do pretty much everything together. Uh, I mean, we practice together. Uh, off the court, you know, we live together. We go out together. We go to the movies together. I don't go out. We have uh, family dinners together. I don't so. Go out. I mean, it's basically like your brothers. You do everything. All right, bro. We do everything together, so I feel like that's uh, how we bond as a team a lot. Um. So you know, coming in, I I only knew Cam like as a catch and shoot three uh, shooter, but like what I've seen these past couple of months, like that dude can do it all. Uh, he can get to the rim. He can pass. Um, you know, he's starting to see the floor a whole lot better. Uh, he plays above the rim, and um, he definitely Cam. The way Cam is playing right now, he has a chip on his shoulder towards everybody, including us during practice. So uh, it's definitely. I'm definitely excited. What's that like when you're going up against the guy in practice that has a chip? Oh, it's fun. He makes it. He makes practice a whole lot better because uh, you know a little talking goes on. Uh, I get amped up, he gets amped up, and then the rest of practice, everybody is going at it. And uh, I think that's just making us better in the long run. And uh, for what's coming in the Big 12 this year, you know, we need it. Do you guys have any rituals you do before you start a game? Um, I don't got nothing crazy. I just, after shoot around, I shower and take a nap, and I go back to the gym, listen to my music. Yeah, I probably do the same thing. I pray a lot before I go play, too. Yeah, prayer. Uh, meditation and music and so <laughs> Tyler after your first season at North Texas you obviously didn't transfer what made you want to enter the transfer portal after that second season there uh, I think it was just time to move on um, you know we of course we had a coaching change um, and I love Ross Hodge who's a head coach now there um, but it was just time to go to a bigger stage and uh, it's no knock on North Texas it just is what it is um, they conference USA and American can give me the stage that Big 12 has and so at the end of the day, I want to play the best and compete against the best. And I felt like I picked the, you know, the best conference in the world. David, you split time as a starter and coming off the bench last year. Do you prefer either one of those, or how do you see your goal? Um, nah, honestly, I don't really care because um, I knew I was going to get my minutes regardless, um, whether it's coming off the bench and bringing energy or you know, starting off the game the right way. Um, I'm not too concerned. Coach Tang has talked about his emphasis on rebounding this year, especially how last season ended. Hmm. Is that something you're focused on too as well? Uh, yes, most definitely. Definitely want to improve on that. Um, I feel like the work I put in on my body and my core would, uh, is definitely going to help with that. And then experience as well. Um, you know, just I feel like rebounding is really a skill and you can get better at which you can get better at. Um, and I definitely feel like I have. So. Since you've been to Manhattan, have there been any 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 restaurants, food spots that you that you like more than others that you like going back to? Uh, Urban. Man, hey. Shout out to Umi Sushi. Yeah, spot. Wow. I haven't had Umi's yet, but I'm a big fan of Tanner's. Yeah. Tanner's is OD. Yeah. I don't care what he say, yeah. what he talking about. They got a, they got a, they got a, they got a chicken, a grilled black and chicken wrap. O D. Crazy. Five. Five. Five, wow, right? Bur See what I'm saying? <laughs> See? Bur bourbon and bacon, chicken and waffles. I still oh, ain't had it. I still haven't had it. What's that one called? The bourbon and bacon. I still haven't had it. Yeah. Had it. Yeah. Or bakers. Yeah. Oh, What's bakers. the biggest difference for you, Tyler, going to school in the state of Kansas, but mm -hmm. in Manhattan mm. instead of Coffeeville? Now. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, <laughs> Manhattan is just a little bit bigger than Coffeeville. The weather's still cold already. Uh, but I love it out here, though, man. I wouldn't have came back if it was out for, if I was that miserable. But, but it's nothing is different. They just a couple hours apart, and Manhattan is a little bit bigger with a couple more food spots. What do you remember about the uh, Chuco Championship in Hutch and uh, just that run? I think that was Coach Herc. Yeah, national that was the first time I ever seen Coach Herc smile uh, in my two years there. And uh, literally for two years, I had never seen him smile until I 
till about five seconds to go in that national championship game when we got the ball back to end it. Uh, that was the first time we seen him smile. And, um, man, that team was just – we sent a team of 16, 14 guys went and played at a university after that. So um, that's just a testament to that team and the, the de dedication we had put in that year. And, um, you know, that was a run for the ages. And to be able to get Herc his first one, you know, uh, we still talk every other day. I literally just talked to him yesterday. So um, – that was definitely, you know, a fun time in my life. David, when you look back at the FAU loss, mm. what are the emotions there? Do you just use it as motivation coming into the season? Um, yeah, it definitely hurts a little bit, stings a little bit. Um, but yeah, definitely motivation, uh, especially learning from that game. Um, like you, like they said before, uh, the way it ended with rebounding. So learning from that uh, to not let it happen again. And then, yeah, like you said, uh, use it as motivation to, you know, make it uh, to Phoenix next year. Uh, come on, bro. Something like that. He's fire. No. These the prom glasses? Uh, yeah, got them from Coach Tang. He's fire. Got them from Coach Tang. Who's the, who, who's the guy on the team that, that maybe people aren't talking about that you think might be the biggest, the biggest surprise? Quez Glover. Quez Glover. Without yeah. a doubt. Yeah. What, 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 what has he done to, to, to earn that? That's um, he's the fastest one on the team. Yeah, that's one of the fastest dudes I've ever seen in my life with the basketball in his hand. Uh, he um he sees the floor so well. Uh, he can defend at a you know at a high intensity. Um, and he's just a great teammate, great dude on and off the floor. And uh, he's so easy to be around, so easy to you know to gel with. <laughs> and um, you know I'm glad he's on that side. Quez obviously came in late. Was there any sort of like adjustment that he had to have in practice, or is he just not really? Not really. He, he, I feel like he flowed right into yeah, it. Right uh, in. Even gel with the guys really fast and bonded with them pretty good. <laughs> so I mean, he's just a fun guy, man. Good to be around. He's super competitive as well. So yeah. uh, I feel like you know that just adds more competitiveness to our team, our, which we already had. What about, what about Will McNair? How has he kind of settled in? What, what do you like about what he does? Oh, yeah. Will a monster. Banging in the post. Banging in the post. You know, he, he makes good reads at the top of the, top of the key. Uh, you know, overall, he's a great guy. Will is definitely another locker room guy, high character dude, and um, you know experience. another, uh, yeah, definitely experience a vet. And so uh, I think you know Coach Tang and his staff definitely, you know, they always recruit guys who are high character and easy to be around. And Will is another one of those. And so like I said, his transition was also easy, and uh, like you know, it's good to have somebody you know that size on our team. Monster. He's, he's All right. Thank you. 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 Thank you.